Next, he tops up the brake reservoir. Oh, we've got brake. Have we? Yep. What, straight away? Yep, pull hard. What, it just, all it needed was a little bit of fluid. brake fluid? Yep. Oh, man, do you know what? Sometimes you go cheap and it pays off, huh? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, there you go. Hey, we've snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. It could be a further problem we have to address. Oh, no. Looks like the hydraulic system has got all bunged up. The top bit's solid, so there must be a blockage in the master cylinder. The blockage is just there. So what I'm going to do is take it off the bike, go and get a bit of straight rod, and maybe hopefully unblock the pipe. Okay. What, like, like a coat hanger? Yeah. All right. You got any coat hangers? No. Janie, got any? I have got coat hangers. What? I have. I hang, I hang my hats on them. That's just perfect. I'll cut that like that. Yeah, all right, all right. Don't... You, can, you, you can't... You can have that bit back now. Ugh, uh, dribbling everywhere. My God, is it really that blocked? Yeah, it's, it's a congealed brake fluid, basically. Because the pipe itself's in mint condition. Yeah, it is. And maybe at some time in the future, replace it, but for now, it should be okay. Is she coming out the other end? There it is. Right, we're through, so that's clear now. And look at this, watch this now, ready? Perfect, the brake fluid's flowing. Next task, empty the tank. Make sure the cap's on tight. and check the deep fat fryer has reached working temperature. We're 49 degrees now, so I think we can go. Yeah, let's do it. In go the float bowls and all the other gubbins. It's actually working already. Can you see the brown slime around everything there? Oh, yeah, look, it is. I'll put the lid on then. I want to see it fizz first. Oh, OK. Ready? You ready? Yeah! <coughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh, mate, look at, look at that. that. It's just pouring off, isn't it? That's unbelievable. After a 30-minute ultrasonic soak, it should be ready. It's only the best for you, Queen. Here. Has our <laughs> fried chicken fried? God, look they, look at that. they look really clean, don't they? That's a perfect that. job. Now it's Alan's turn to shine. He reassembles the carburetor and puts the tank and the seat back on. I refit the side panel and refresh the tank. Right, petrol's on. Then all our efforts come to a climax. Are you ready? Right, yeah, okay, go on then. One. Second kick out! It's happened! Sounds lovely. <laughs> Mate, this is absolutely fantastic. So we have a running T150 motorcycle, thanks to the legend that is Alan Millward. It runs, but does it ride? OK, well, we're off. A little test ride on the Triumph Trident. So far, so good. Alan's on my BSA A50, but I'll take the Trident. Beautiful thing. I could do hundreds of miles on her. Motorcycling is true freedom, even at 20 miles an hour. You just feel as though you can get on this bike and you ride anywhere you want. It's just a lovely feeling. Don't tell anyone about it, though, because otherwise everyone will be wanting to buy it. This particular bike is not quite perfect. Second gear is a little bit notchy, but we make it to our favourite cafe in time for Tiffin. So we've got a lovely little Triumph that runs and rides. Um, it is a rolling restoration, there's no bones about it. It makes some strange noises. It needs some love and care from its next owner, probably. Yeah. But we bought it so well at 2.8, uh, we could sell it trade, I reckon, for about four, four and a half. And hey, I know just the man who might buy it.